Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am still a little froggy from my flu, but I am in recovery mode, so that is excellent. So, sorry for the funny voice. But um, last week I actually received this. I purchased it on Amazon. I will leave a link for you guys down below. But Cindy Gunter Baldo, who is Llama Letters here on YouTube and Instagram, I will leave her links down below. You guys should follow her. She is amazing. She published a book. Um, this is all about cute hand lettering. She is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful letterer. I do not possess these skills whatsoever, but this is actually a book that is all about how to like, you know, letter yourself, which I thought was really cool. Um, the book is a little bit smaller than I was kind of anticipating, but look how thick it is. Like Cindy girl, you got girth. I love it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's available on any other place than Amazon, but um, I'm so excited it just came out. So anyway, I wanted to do a little flip through with you guys because um, I had shared, I think on my Instagram stories, that it was coming in the mail and a lot of you said, I want to flip through. I don't know if I want to buy it. I want another flip. I want to flip through of it. So I figured before I muck it all up because it's kind of what I want to do today, I just wanted to page through it so you guys could see what you're getting. And um, yeah, I haven't really opened this yet. So it's very virginal, you guys. So it's called, sorry about the little glare right here. Like I can't, I can't film not here. It's really irritating, but whatever. We're gonna get over it. I'm not a professional, y'all. So this is called Cute Hand Lettering for Journals, Planners, and More. Um, let's see here. Oh, these are so cute. And I just love her lettering. It's so, so nice. I am not one that really likes hand-drawn like stickers for my planner, like I'm a big planner person, but Cindy's lettering and doodles just, oh, they get me. They get me so good. So it has a table of contents, which is kind of cool, um, so you kind of know where you are. So here's some information about Cindy. And if you don't know a ton about Cindy, you should actually listen to her podcast. And um, if I can find that, um, like some sort of link, I will put it down below for you guys. She's got an amazing podcast, talks about, I don't know, she just talks about a lot of things in the planner community. It's called The Uncurated Life. So she does really talk about the non-pretty side of social media and the planner world and like how different things collide in that way. So. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, sometimes she has guests, sometimes she just kind of rambles by herself or has a topic to talk about, which is really cool. So, anyway, um, okay, so chapter one, just start. That is the hardest part, isn't that right? Uh, chapter two is all about your handwriting. Uh, chapter three through five is lettering styles. Chapter six is lettering in journals. And then chapter seven, what do I do next? All right, so here is chapter one. I'm just gonna like flip through these really fast. If you wanna pause the video, you're more than welcome to because I really don't want this video to be like two hours long because it totally would. Um, she talks about daily practice to have some tips and you know, do your daily practices. Ooh, pens, yes, I need to talk about pens. I don't know what kind of pen I'm gonna wanna use, but um, yeah, talking about your tip size, color, uh, how heavy is your hand. I know she talks about that a lot in some of her uh, lettering videos on YouTube. Um, and then other tools, let's see, pencils, erasers, ruler, practice paper, lots of different things. Um, and then a lettering, is it tergon? Jargon? Oh, jargon. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's a J, not a T. I'm like, what? Shows a lot of how to, you know, do different types of things. Ooh, take your handwriting temperature. Ooh, I wanna write on this. Okay, but I'm gonna wait until the video's over. Like I said, I want it to stay pretty. Um, and maybe I'll make it more pretty with my chicken scratchings. <laughs> oh, and on this page, it says, write the entire alphabet in uppercase and lowercase in your regular writing. Don't try to write fancy. You want a snapshot of what your writing is like at this moment in time, and then you can put a date. Oh, that's really cool. That, this would be even cool if you wanted to like have your, you know, writing improve and stuff too. It's just like a fun thing to do. It's like, this is like an adult activity book, <laughs> which I love. Chapter two is all about your handwriting. So, so basic printing. 
and then you know more exercise pages oh, i love that there's so many exercise pages cool basic cursive strokes building cursive letters cool i don't know i'm really liking this okay hold on this video is going to be really long so let me start flipping um da -da -da -da. all about the cursive and then about big impact small impact changes big impact i'm sorry i can't talk right now because I'm very excited about this clearly and um, I've been on a lot of lot of cold medicine recently <laughs> all right so simple hand lettering very cool well, these are fun with like the little curlies on them this is neat I'm just really excited to start playing in this book and I I don't know I think this would just be like a fun little like weekend book to play around with and to just do something different, you know? I I am a person that if I'm not good at something, I don't want to do it. And I, I'm sure there's other people out there that feel the same way. And lettering is one of those things. And I've, I've watched many of Cindy's videos, um, but it, she says it's all practice. Like you just, you gotta keep going with it and you gotta keep practicing at it. Like no one's gonna be good at this right away. Um, so anyways, I feel like this would be like a good little like, you know, just every weekend just come and play with it for a little while and just, you know, get better over time and you challenge yourself to do something a little bit different that you, you know, don't, don't normally do. Um, but I love that there's all these different styles and, you know, like, you know, there's just like one in front of the other, which is really cool. Um, I don't know. I just really, really like these. I'm gonna be very, very excited to start making this my own. <laughs> so we've got numbers and symbols. Let's see here. Let's advance. Ooh, oh, I like those. Ooh, I like flourishes is what they are called. I like a flourish. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, you can like decorate the letters with like little things. That's really cool. Oh, that was cute. I like the little bunny rabbit. <laughs> So yeah, lots of places for practice, which I'm very excited about. Plus you can always like grab a notebook or something that's handy too, um, you know, if you fill up all your pages. But there's just like great, you know, reference material to really understand how to do this. So I'm very, very excited. Yay. All right, so this is it. Sorry, I wanted to flip through it really quickly for you guys. Um, I don't want to give away every single secret that Cindy has divulged in her new book. But again, I will leave an Amazon link. I highly encourage you guys to get this if you want to learn how to do some cute hand lettering for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. And also, make sure to follow Cindy on all of her socials down below. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.